Yo, what's up guys? Um, I know it has been a couple weeks, but um, we're going to be doing another marker piece today. Um, when I moved into my studio, I thought I had plenty of space. Um, I have two desks in here, like that's going to be way enough room for this project, and um, there's not enough room. I'm only working at A1, but I haven't done anything kind of portrait length yet. Um, everything's been landscape, and yeah, I just realised A1 doesn't fit on this desk. It's quite annoying because all my camera equipment is on this side of the room to record myself. I'm going to have to move it all. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a little bit like Tetris in that we're going to have to move stuff around to get it all to fit. Um, and as you can guess, today's theme is going to be Tetris. You know, I'm doing like 20 pieces for this show coming up at the end of the year. This will be the third piece. And yeah, I just need to kind of uh, knock them out. So yeah, let's jump straight into today's video because I want to get this all done in one day. Let's do it. So it wasn't actually that bad in the end. I moved a few things around, but I was able to kind of keep it nice and flat because of the A1 cutting mat that I usually work on. But So I'm skipping past all of the boring stuff of me drawing on loads of bits of paper over and over again, working out the composition. Um, just know I spent half a day doing this. Uh, you know I struggled quite a lot with the letters, so the letters took me quite a long time. I took the character from uh, an old mural that I designed with a guy playing uh, on a Game Boy, revamped it a little bit because I thought it kind of fit really well with this. Now onto the fun part. Um, I'm going to jump straight into like penning this bad boy out and then we'll colour it, but um, what did you just say? What did you just say? Alright, let's do it. <laughs> I had a little companion keeping me company throughout the inking process. Britta used her line right on top of whatever I'm drawing on, so it's quite nice that she was kind of sat to the side for a change. Oh, the pen I'm using to ink in, always the same one. It's the Pentel SES 15C. I've never found a better pen than this, and I use it for pretty much every marker project. I made a small mistake. Um, I'm gonna blame my cat, but she jumped up and scared the crap out of me. Um, this didn't happen, but that's the excuse I'm gonna give. So if anyone asks, my cat did it. Um, it wasn't just a shadow that I thought was a spider. I didn't see that and, and get scared. Um, luckily it was on a time lapse, so no one could see. Uh, but I'm gonna crack into doing the color inside. This is like the part that I find the most fun. I'm going to start with the letters because they're easiest because they're at the bottom and then it'll get trickier as I go up. But um, yeah, let's jump into it. Pow! Instead of just shading like this, what you want to do, I'll show you, is you want to lean back like this and really get like a double chin going on, like really far back. And then you want to lean back like as far as your chair can go. If you can see what you're doing, you're not leaning back far enough. And that's it, I mean, look, I'll show you. Look at that. Uh, look, freaking seamless. And that's with the uh, lean back technique. It, it helps if you eat a lot more. You wanna have a bit of a double chin. If you haven't got the double chin, go eat some more and you'll be a lot better with the, with the veining. Anyway, back to it. So I'm coloring this with a mix of the MTN94, Copix, Artex markers, and the Arteza markers.
The Aerosmith markers have been pretty decent, but I felt like they didn't hold as much ink as the 94. Uh, the brushes held up pretty good though against Copic. What I like about the Artex markers is they have uh, two versions, one with a brush tip and one with a chisel tip, and they both come in handy. Each marker has its own pros and cons, you've got kind of cheap ones, more expensive ones, but yeah, as I said, the 94, hands down my favourite for me. So it's very much up to you what ones you want to go for. So if the leaning back technique didn't work for you, here's a real one. Um, if you're having trouble doing fades, try applying ink from the marker that you want to fade with onto the tip of a blender. So literally, as you can see, I'm just scribbling on the tip here, making sure I'm getting like some ink on the blender. And then as you use the blender, it will start to fade back out to nothing. This is kind of the best method that I've found. It does take a little bit of work because you have to wait for it to dry each time. But if you work it, you can get a pretty even fade. Also just using a touch of acrylic just so I can get a brilliant white. Yo, so um, I got some sleep, um, I went to bed at like 3 o'clock last night and I've woke up and it's, I don't know, early, early o'clock and I just want to get this finished. Um, I made quite a lot of good headway yesterday, I'm really happy with how it's going. Um, I did kind of want to get it all done in one day but there was just no point. At the end I was like doing one line and it was looking at the clock and it had been like half an hour so um, better to get some rest and then come back to it. Uh, there isn't that much to do, I just need to kind of do the background and finish the Game Boy and then it's done. Maybe a couple more dark tones in areas, but um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm still wearing the same clothes from yesterday. I just need to get it done and then I'll get ready. Um, what else? Don't know. What else is there to say? Let's just get on with it. Let's do it. Bow! Yes, we are all finished with this illustration. Finally, um, I'm actually really happy with how it turned out. Um, it's very close to how I envisioned it was going to look, and that doesn't always happen. I was really hating the letters at the beginning, but I think the fill was kind of, yeah, the fill came up pretty good. I don't want to toot my own horn, but I feel like I've made a lot of headway considering, yeah, if you looked back at my letters from a year ago, if you looked at my early videos, yeah, they're kind of worlds apart now. I think I'm getting the structure a lot better. I'm still not perfect. I'm sure some of you watching are like, what the fuck is wrong with those letters? But shut up, <laughs> um, because that's the best I can do today. And I know in a year from now, I'm going to do uh, be better than I am today uh, in a year from yeah, whatever. Um, before we go into getting some final shots, I just want to say um, another, I don't know if I've said it yet, but another huge thank you to Arts Council England. Um, this project has been funded by them. I'm going to be doing loads more pieces like this. As I said, this is just the third one of like 20 different pieces I'm going to do. I think maybe more. Um, and yeah, there's going to be uh, installations, rugs, there's going to be vinyl toys. I'm going to have loads of prints. 
t-shirts, a big zine launch with all of this artwork. So yeah, we're at the kind of early stages, but I'm actually, I'm at the point where I'm producing the pieces as opposed to learning about the marker side. I'm actually, yeah, churning them out. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you go over to the dislike button and then move slightly over down and then hit that subscribe button because it's, I'm gonna be making a lot more videos like this. So it means you'll be kind of up to date with all of the stuff that I'm doing. Um, I'm also going to start putting all of the materials in the description so if you're interested in what markers and stuff I use I'm going to put them in the link below. I haven't sorted out an affiliate link yet but I I'll probably do that at some point. But honestly if you're going to buy some markers I'm still saying 94 graphic markers are the best. I've stocked up on the Copics, I've stocked up on the Artex markers, I've tried quite a lot of different brands now and 94 you're, you're easily the best. Big ups, everyone in the sub club. I'll catch you guys in the next video and let's finish with some super sexy shots of the final result. Ka-pow!